Welcome back. I hope you had a stress-free weekend. But if you're going to go back to a 9 to 5 job again, then you're going to need a flexible back so that you don't get too much pain. So you're going to show us some, an interesting way to do that, right? Yes. Uh, very few people know that in yoga you always have a pose and a counter pose. And both these postures enhance each other. They give a lot to each other and it's very important to do both. So if you're arching your back in one direction, yeah. you've got to arch it in the opposite direction as well. So there are very beautiful and simple postures. In fact, today we have three such postures, mm -hmm. which are excellent for the strength and flexibility of your back. What is very important to remember though, is that if you already have a slip disc or a bad back, then definitely don't attempt these postures. They are for a nice, healthy, good back. But if you have a little bit of uh, lower back pain or anything, these postures will really help to make it strong. So, but the main reason that you even get any pain there is because you're not moving it all the ways you should, right? Yes. We often tend to stretch in one direction and not do the opposite. Like you could be sitting and bending and looking over something or you could be bending and typing the whole day but then you don't take time off to bend backwards. So it's very important for your spine to be stretched in all directions. Very true. Let's do some forward and backward bending with the spine. Okay. You'll have to stand up for this. Inhale, take your arms up, breathe out and bend forward and feel the stretch on your lower back. And now again come up, take your legs slightly apart, take your hands, onto your hips and slowly bend back and bend your knees to add and increase the stretch on the back. Now slowly come back and bend forward again. If you keep repeating this several times, it's a lovely stretch on the lower back muscles. It gives them a lot of flexibility, strength and most of all stamina. So you can start with about 5, 10, 12 repetitions and take it to about 15 to 20. Now we're going to do one more posture, which is the set of pairs. What's really good about uh, postures which are done in pairs is that they have this concept of a pose and a counter pose. So one of the poses will use one set of muscles and the counter pose will use the exact opposite set of muscles. Right. So that both of them, neither of them is neglected and a very nice strengthening of the spine happens. So uh, you need to get into Parvatasan. And also this um, forward and backward bending, it's also kind of like a nice warm up for your back before you do the other two, right? Quite right. So all the three pairs that we're going to do today will be in repetition. First one pose and then the other pose and then keep repeating it. So let's get into Parvatasan. It's Parvatasan and Bhujangasan done in a quick succession. So this is Parvatasan where you can see that the back is flexed in this direction and now slowly move into Bhujangasan. And please remember that you can't do this very fast. It's at about the speed that she's showing you. Back into Parvatasan. This much of pace is just right for the muscles of the back. And you can, as I said for the earlier one, you can repeat this five or ten times initially and take it up to about 15 or 20 later and relax. So your back must feel really flexed and nice. Yeah, there's a lot of heat also. Yeah, yeah. we're now going to do uh, another pair which is very very beautiful because it works slowly on every set of muscles which go along the spine. Mm 